Charles officially blocks Harry after deeply shocked and hurt by Duke's shocking act. In the world of royal family drama, few stories captivate the public quite like that of Charles, Prince of Wales, and his son, Prince Harry. The relationship between these two has been fraught with tension, misunderstandings, and public scrutiny, but recent events have taken a turn that has left many deeply shocked and intrigued. As we explore the dynamics of this complex family, we'll dive into the heart of the matter, why Charles has officially blocked Harry and the implications of this shocking act. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. To understand the current situation, one must first look back at the events leading up to this moment. Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, stepped back from their royal duties in early 2020, seeking independence in a life away from the relentless media spotlight. This decision was met with mixed reactions from the public and the royal family alike. While some admired their pursuit of personal freedom, others viewed it as a betrayal of royal duty. The fallout has been significant. Harry spoke candidly about his struggles with mental health, the pressures of royal life, and the impact of media scrutiny during various interviews. Meanwhile, Charles, who has always had a complicated relationship with his sons, was left feeling hurt and abandoned. The perceived betrayal cut deep, especially as it unfolded in the public eye. Recently, a surprising act by Harry has left Charles reeling. In a move that many deemed provocative, Harry released a tell-all memoir that included intimate details about family dynamics, personal grievances, and past conflicts. While memoirs often serve as a means of catharsis for their authors, this particular book felt like a public airing of dirty laundry, leaving Charles feeling deeply shocked and hurt. Critics argue that Harry's decision to publish these revelations was not only a breach of family loyalty but also a strategic misstep that could irreparably damage relationships within the royal family. Charles, who values tradition and privacy, found himself at a crossroads. He believed that Harry's actions undermined the very fabric of their family bond. In a dramatic turn of events, Charles has decided to officially block Harry, both figuratively and literally. Reports indicate that Charles has limited communication channels with Harry, opting to restrict their interactions to official matters only. This decision has sent shockwaves through royal circles and among the public, leading many to speculate about the future of their relationship. Blocking Harry is not just a symbolic act, it represents a profound emotional response to perceived betrayal. Charles, who has always tried to maintain a sense of duty and decorum, now finds himself grappling with feelings of anger, sadness, and disappointment. The blockade serves as a clear message, actions have consequences, and family ties, while resilient, can be strained to the breaking point. The public reaction to this royal drama has been intense. Social media is buzzing with opinions, memes, and speculations about the future of the royal family. Some sympathize with Charles, understanding the weight of the revelations and the need for boundaries. Others, however, express support for Harry, viewing him as a figure who is bravely speaking out against an antiquated institution. The media frenzy surrounding this situation has only amplified feelings on both sides. Tabloids are quick to jump on every detail, fueling the flames of public interest. As viewers tune into the latest updates, it becomes clear that this story will continue to unfold, with twists and turns that keep everyone on the edge of their seats. At the heart of this saga is a family in crisis. Charles and Harry are not just public figures, they are individuals grappling with personal pain and disappointment. The royal family, often perceived as a symbol of stability, is now facing its most significant internal conflict in decades. Charles, who once dreamed of a close-knit family, now finds himself estranged from one of his sons. The emotional toll of this situation cannot be overstated. It raises questions about forgiveness, loyalty, and the lengths one will go to protect their reputation and values. As the family navigates this tumultuous period, the hope for reconciliation seems increasingly distant. As we ponder the ramifications of this shocking act, the future of Charles and Harry's relationship remains uncertain. Can they find common ground? Is there a path to healing after such public betrayal? These questions linger in the air as both parties must grapple with their feelings and the impact of their actions. If history has taught us anything, it's that families often find ways to heal, 
even after significant rifts. While the road to reconciliation may be long and fraught with challenges, there is always hope. Charles and Harry need to reflect on what truly matters, their bond as father and son. In the end, this story serves as a reminder of the complexities of familial relationships. While it's easy to get swept up in the drama and take sides, we must remember that at the core of this situation are real people with real emotions. As we watch this royal saga unfold, let us approach it with empathy. Both Charles and Harry have their own struggles and perspectives. Perhaps, rather than focusing on the spectacle, we should wish for understanding, compassion, and ultimately, healing within this fractured family. So, as the story continues to develop, let's keep an eye on the evolving narrative of Charles and Harry. Who knows what surprises lie ahead? With every twist and turn, the saga becomes more intriguing, leaving us all eager to see how this royal drama unfolds. Stay tuned, because in the world of royalty, nothing is ever truly over.